what is up you guys? It's me love K Ray and today we are going to be selling some old Pokemon cards for some big buckaroonies and if you say money instead of buckaroonies you are missing out on life my friend on life. Also, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a long time. I was stuck quite literally in Nebraska and Illinois and I only had a caca camera that didn't take high quality videos. Now, before I jump into this video, I just wanted to ask you guys to please consider subscribing to my channel down below because I post videos every single week here on Love K-Ray. Try to entertain you guys. Try to make you laugh. post videos every single week on selling something random on the internet so that I can buy a house by the age of 25. That is the goal. Did I talk too fast? Am I talking too fast for you? Can keep up? Can keep up? Okay, great. Now subscribe. All right, now that I'm done with that, let's get back into this. Also, does this look like fruit roll up to you? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I never had any of these cool things. Like, I've never had these like cool card holders, but it reminds me of eating like a giant fruit strip. Maybe not like the roll up, but definitely like the leather, like the thicker ones. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now, the first set of Pokemon cards were actually released in 1996, but they didn't make their way to North America until 1999, about three years later. Now, since 1996, more than 30 billion cards have been produced, manufactured. I don't even know. What is it called? Is there a difference between produce and manufactured? Now, I've seen some mixed things on the most expensive Pokemon card ever sold, but apparently in 2020, one card sold for $369,000. That's a house. I could pay for a house with that kind of buckaroonies. But besides that single card, there's been other cards that have been selling for 90K, 100K, 200K, crazy amounts of money just for a little tiny baby piece of paper. And you're wondering why I went to McDonald's and got the Happy Meal and got like five Happy Meals. That's why. It's called investing in your future, baby. Pokemon has had TV series, movies, songs, games, obviously. They've also had the hit app Pokemon Go, which I used to play back in 2016. I used to drive around my neighborhood trying to catch a freaking Charizard mother <laughs> Someone who's not really a fan of Pokemon, I was playing that game. Also, what were like the memes about which person you were? What were the, there was like the red, the blue, uh, the mystic, the Volsar, what is it called? Vultures? I don't know. I don't remember. I think it was the red one. Shout out to my fellow Volsars or Velociraptor or whatever the heck they're called. I'm sorry if I'm disrespecting the Pokemon community. I mean no harm. I am simply just an idiot. An idiot. Thank you. <laughs> Now, I actually Googled why Pokemon is so popular. I mean, why is it still popular tw over 20 years later? And there are a bajillion articles on this exact topic as long as Reddit threads. Why is it still so popular to this day? What makes it still standing? How can we replicate this in another brand? You know, people that are going crazy on LinkedIn, like, how do we do this for our new hit show, Pookie Poo and Pop? Like, it's not happening for you, Pookie Poo and Pop. It's only happening for Pokemon. Some people say it's because of its focus on the collection. Some people claim it's its content strategy, its expansiveness, how it can literally touch, like, every area of everything, like games and movies and this and that. I could read all the articles on why, but, um, instead, I'm just gonna get to the point of the video and start selling them to get the big buckaroonies. Now, I noticed some I might sound like a greedy, unappreciative person, especially if you're a big Pokemon fan fan and you're like, holy crap, you have all those, which also these might be literally worthless pieces of paper, but they're kind of old. So I'm like, maybe they're kind of cool. I have no idea. And I mean no harm trying to sell these Pokemon cards, but I never really got into the whole Pokemon thing besides the Pokemon Go phase in 2016, of course. And besides when I bought out McDonald's Happy Meals like a year ago, of course. However, I just don't think hoarding these cards is going to do the world any good. Like, why wouldn't I just sell them to someone who like would bring a immense amount of joy and then it would bring a me immense amount of money and then we're both happy happy win-win situation it's called a symbiotic relationship i think that's what it's called i don't remember because i was really bad at biology hence why i'm not a doctor hence why i'm a disappointment to my family hence why i am sitting in my parents embarrassment alone trying to sell pokemon cards and recording it on youtube did I mention I'm alone and have no buckaroonies? <laughs> so as you can see, we have these cards, which some say Pocket Monster, some say Pokemon on it. I think the po Pocket Monster are the older ones, if I'm correct. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. I don't know what you want me to do or say. 
Like, I, I really don't. We're just gonna go through some of the ones that we have. Hopefully, um, I choose the ones that are expensive. So immediately, I'm drawn to this one, but this one's kind of bent and looks a little damaged, so I don't know if I should be drawn to this one. Probably not, because it's not in good shape. But let's just see how much this Jinx basic Pokemon is, because... Um, what the hell is that? Who is she? What is that wig? Like, bish, what are those boobies? Like, what is those lips? Like, she is like plastic surgery LA classic housewife. But also, like, that's what I aspire to be. So I'm not mad at you, Jinx. I'm not mad at you. If we go to the sold items, this one's only $1.37. This one's $6.50. Okay, why was it banned? $7, but okay, maybe this one's an old one. It says 1999 maybe? So maybe if I type in 1999. Crud, it's still not that much. It's like $4. Okay, moving on from, okay, $8. Whoa, like great. Moving on to this one, which reminds me of like the sour candy that you get from Haribo. Also like what happened to Haribo? Like Haribo was once like the German candy that everyone was like, whoa, like, you're bougie, like, you have German candy, and now it's just, like, in the local gas station, and you're like, hello? But also, sour things, spaghetti, or whatever they have, slap. Tangela? Also, what a name. Okay, Icon. I'm gonna name my kid Tangela. If, if, if this card's worth a lot, and I could buy a house inside a family, you know I'm naming my first daughter Tangela. Five dollars, great. But what are these numbers that they're putting on it? 66 out of 102. Five dollars, six dollars, thirty dollars. First edition. All right, you're not looking great. You're not looking great. You're looking better. Okay, this one's like mint condition. Someone bought that. This one looks actually really interesting. It's Koja Koga's Ninja Trick, and it's like kind of like the illustration on it is kind of crazy and doesn't look like any other kind of Pokemon illustration, at least to me, not that I know literally anything about anything. Four dollars and forty nine cents, two forty nine, four dollars and twenty five. <sighs> to the Pokedex, which is an inanimate object. I didn't know they did that. And I have three of these buck suckers. One cent. Add three cents to that, baby. A hundred dollars? Why do you have... Oh my god. $1.75, $3.89, $1.49, $1.49. Okay. <sighs> Bummer. Let's just list it as $1.50. Misty's Tears. Like... What? Like, how is Misty's tears gonna, like, do anything? Also, why are you crying? No one likes the girl that's crying at the party. Actually, that's not true. I was that girl. Actually, it is true. No one liked me. <laughs> how much? How much? Misty, Misty, Misty. Ten dollars! I have, I have two of the Misty's tears, as you can see right here. So if we sell each of them for, like, ten dollars, let's just be generous, that's twenty bucks. You know what 20 bucks can buy you? Like a meal at Chipotle plus a Starbucks coffee. Not that I do that a lot. I don't. I stopped eating Chipotle because I get the runs. I don't want to say the word. I don't want to say the D word. That's just too vulgar for YouTube. The next one, it looks expensive because... I just dropped it. What if that was the one? What if that was the one? I don't know what this is and I don't know how to look it up. Because I don't know what that's... I don't speak or read. Uh, what is that? Who are you? Okay, I have a lot of these energy retrieval cards for some weird reason, like four maybe. So let's see how much these are. I'm, I can't even remember if I already did this or not. Is that a bad sign that I can't remember if I like went through this card already and I've only done like five, you know? Okay, $2.90. Great, perfect. Oh, $1. Okay, wow, okay. Add three dollars because I have three of them. This other card that I have is also just two dollars. Um, it's called the Ruin Wall. I'm upset. I don't know what to do. This card also looks kind of cool, but I don't know what it's called and I don't know how to look it up and it doesn't have a number on it. I mean, it maybe does, but I can't read the number. We also have this plus power, which I can't remember if we went through already. This one's also just like a dollar. This stinks, man. $4.68, okay. 
let's just say two dollars handy 505 this one is in japanese but it also has an english word on it so maybe i could find out how much that one's worth all right nine dollars we got somewhere now we're at nine dollars okay well this was an epic fail but if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe to my channel for videos every single week here on love k ray maybe i'll unleash some more pokemon cards that i have i'll see you next time here on love k ray bye